Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we're here at Nøklevanne, Norwegian beautiful nature. We have with us Vilde Opi, our dancer and model today. And today we're reviewing the Canon R3. I'm noticing a big advantage right away. And it is that these kind of shots right into the sun, I could never have done with perhaps the R5 or the R6 because of the shutter speed. So it gives me a great advantage to have that fast of a shutter speed at 1 64 thousandths of a second. Uh, it is so amazing to be able to use the 50 millimeter at the largest aperture at f1.2 shooting directly into the sun on a day like this. That's a great advantage. Today we have brought the new Canon 50mm RF 1.2, which is a great lens. And we're also bringing my favorite lens of all time, which is the Canon EF 35mm 1.4, which is the one I'm probably using the most out of, out of all the lenses I have. Right off the bat, this feels like a really professional camera, which it is. It's aimed at the professional market, and you can feel that in that sense of ergonomics, how it balances in the hand, all the options, all the connections, the battery, everything is aimed at the professional. The speed, this is a camera which is a high-speed monster camera. That's what it's meant for. High speed, high durability, and high reliability. In Norway, Norwegian ducks always brings good luck at a shoot. <laughs> Obviously, this is such a popular and sought after camera right now. And Ken Norway was so nice to us uh, to be able to lend this camera to us so early in the process. And I must say also, this is an early version of the firmware. So probably the one in the stores is gonna have an updated firmware from this one. But we only have this camera right now for one day, so we're making an early review, hands-on review, of course, but an early review. And when you walk in Norwegian forest, you will always find elvish ladies dancing around like this. When you call on them, you say and then they come dancing out from the forest. Come to Norway. <laughs> the feature everybody's of course been talking about is the eye tracking feature of this Canon R3. Now, Canon has always been able to track eyes, at least with the latest R series cameras, but now it doesn't only track the eyes of the subject, but also the eye of the photographer. Now, I've been trying this uh, feature. Mind you that this is a uh, early version of the firmware and it works great it, it tracks my eyes i have calibrated it so you have to calibrate it to your eyes and if you're using glasses or not and also in different kind of lighting situations but i'm noticing that it tracks my eyes very well but i also find myself not using it so much because the camera in itself is so good it tracks the eyes of the subject so well it recognizes what kind of subject it is you can set it to track either people or animals or different kinds of things or, or nothing at all. But the camera in itself is so good that I find myself not even having to use it. But it's there if you want to use it and try it. And it might be a really good idea to use in some kind of situations. But right now in this kind of more static situation with one model and uh, the natural lighting, I don't have to use it. But it's nice that it's there. In summary, would I buy this camera? Yes. For me as a professional, I would purchase this camera. It's amazing, it has great speed, great quality. The files look amazing without having seen them yet on my Mac, but just from looking at them and noticing that every shot seems sharp, the colors are beautiful, everything is just spot on and I can rely on it. 
Obviously, if you're a consumer or, a, or an amateur, the size and the weight and the bulk of the camera is probably not for you. It's not a family camera. Uh, you don't want to bring this lugging it around on your average hike. But as a professional, it's great to have this kind of ergonomics and the grip. You can use it this way or this way automatically. It's, uh, it just feels like an extension of yourself and it feels like the right tool for me to use. So would I buy it? Yes. Yeah. In Norway, we have this tradition that when we call it a wrap, it's a bathing towel wrap. So to you who have watched this video, thank you so much for watching. And to you who have also clicked the subscribe button, this one's for you. 50 degrees water. Summertime. Var det deilig? Hva sitt uh, digg? Digg. Love it.